December 22, Fourth Sunday of Advent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary your wife into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord Emmanuel, God is with us. The angel tells Joseph that Mary's son will be named Emmanuel. In Hebrew, it is Emmanuel. El is God. Im is with. Imanu means with us. Literally, with us is God. The baby Jesus, who is about to be born into the world, is God's statement to us. God is telling us, I am with you. If God is with you, why worry? Everything will be alright. Your salvation is at hand. God is here to forgive you and take you back. The world will have no power over you. Now you can be good according to God's expectation. Just follow the example of Jesus. Joseph quietly absorbs what the angel tells him in his dream. When he awakes, he obeys, setting aside his concept of righteousness. He takes Mary into his home. He accepts that nothing is wrong with Mary conceiving a child, because God has done it. In the first reading, King Ahaz does not listen when God offers him a sign for the salvation of his people in Jerusalem. Their enemies are about to destroy them. In spite of his non-cooperation, God proceeds with his plan. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. In the second reading, Paul reflects on the mystery of the risen Christ. Christ's resurrection calls all Gentiles to faithful obedience for his name's sake. Through Christ, we receive God's grace and our mission to spread the good news. To feel that God is with us, we need to obey God and recognize God's presence. <music> 